Christians or as Protestants, we take our faith very seriously. Few take time to reflect upon the origins of our Protestant traditions. The reality is our Protestant beliefs were earned for us by the bravery and tenacity of our forebears, some of whom gave their lives in the process. Even if I face the flame, I will not renounce a thing if it not be shown in the scriptures. The Almighty God has made way to him through a relationship with Jesus Christ. He is the only intermediary. And even if need be, I will face death. I just die. God's given us the papacy. So let us enjoy it. Yes, that makes absolute sense. Why has no one thought of that before? My most trusted advisor told me that in a letter Catherine wrote to the emperor, she called herself his servant. What else could we presume from this except that she is a conniving, adulterous harlot who is secretly plotting to run away with the Holy Roman Emperor and have me assassinated in the process? Do you not believe that a private mass can assist the souls released from purgatory? It is great adultery to believe more in these masses than in the death of Christ who died for us. If the Pope could empty purgatory, why would he not do so out of love instead of base commerce? To go against conscience is neither right nor safe. Therefore, Protestantism must tower unvanquished above all glory, above all might of the world. For it is not of us, Francis, but of the living and his Christ. Death is inevitable. If I face not the chopping block, I should face the ferocity of my parents. I know my true father's goodness, though my faith is not favorable. He is my savior, my redeemer. My soul lies in his hands. Let me share with you a few rules about the monastery. First of all, rent is a guilder a month. 